And for his reaction to all this, we're now reaching out to Mathieu Fleury. He is the outgoing city councillor for a ward in Ottawa that borders the protest red zone. Mathieu Fleury, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me on. So the first full week of testimony has just wrapped up. And really in this first week, we're getting this idea, this picture of an Ottawa police service that to hear from the OPP was dysfunctional and disorganized. As one who lived through the protest as a city councillor, how do you feel when you hear that description? A sad state of the reality we were all facing. Um, we, we as elected officials and stakeholders were interacting with the police chief. Usually we were able to have information at different levels through the ranks at the inspector level or, or, um, or deputy chiefs. In this case, we weren't. And, now, when we're seeing the various interactions and, and challenges and debates, and we, we kind of see how there was no plan and there wasn't a cohesive understanding of what was happening and how to solve it. You know, I, I'm unfortunately not surprised. And I think the, the purpose of the inquiry hopefully gets into the depth of, of the challenges between authorities uh, in the capital, uh, the local police, the provincial uh, Ontario Police as well as the RCMP. Well, you mentioned police, and one other thing that has been revealed in this uh, this week of testimony has less to do with police, but more about political leadership, because we heard from Jim Watson that while he and the Prime Minister were trying to have meetings with the province regarding the protest, the Premier apparently did not want to get involved in those meetings. How do you react to that revelation? I'm not surprised. Uh, we uh, we in Ottawa often feel that Queen's Park is far from us. And I know that our neighbours in Gatineau feel the same way about their provincial government being in Quebec City. Uh, often people think that Ottawa and Gatineau are the federal government. We're not. We're, we're, we're cities and we report right into uh, the provincial government. And in this case, I believe the mayor acted too late in declaring a state of emergency. And also through that period, we, we certainly didn't get the political leadership provincially that we needed here in the capital. Although conversations were happening between Ottawa police, the OPP and the RCMP, the, the political leadership, as you can now see, wasn't aligned. And ultimately, we residents of Ottawa and leaders in Ottawa were, were directly impacted by this uh, the siege, the occupation that took too long to resolve. Well, there's now discussion question as to whether or not the premier should be called before the commission. He's not right now scheduled to appear, but do you think the premier should be called to testify? I think so. Absolutely. When when local uh, governments and chiefs are faced with a situation like the, the one we have, and when the federal government needs to intervene, and when there's resources, requirements, and tools that exist within uh, the provincial jurisdiction, it's important that the review be comprehensive looking at uh, the situation of what areas and elements uh, remain you know, questionable or, or challenged and, and a go forward. And, and that's where you know, folks like me are interested in is how do we ensure that this never happens again in Ottawa as a capital city? How do we ensure that if there are risk areas that all levels of government on the political side are, are more aligned on the senior management side as well as policing authorities right now, we can easily see by the testimonies at the inquiry that all three of those areas uh, were, were had massive disconnects, uh, which created the length of um, of challenges that we face uh, in the city, uh, being occupation, the occupation, and all the pressure that uh, that posed on on residents and businesses that for many were closed throughout the those 24 days. Mm -hmm. I have less than a minute, but I have to ask you, because you know ultimately this commission must determine whether or not the Trudeau government was justified in using the Emergencies Act. Do you think it was necessary? Look, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the specifics of the act. I just see a direct correlation between when the act was, uh, was enacted and the dismantling of the occupation. So, you know, I, I I, I'm no constitutional lawyer, I don't know, but as a local counselor, I see a direct correlation with a, a dismantling of and, and police operations uh, following uh, the, the, the invocation of, of the Emergencies Act. Metsu Fleury, really appreciate the time today. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me on.